They love you, Hugh. They love you. They want a piece of you. <laughs> That's very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, no. what can I get you to drink? Because I'm guessing you like... Harvey's Bristol Cream, something a bit posh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like something a little more manly than that. I like um, uh, a Malibu and pineapple, if you Malibu. have. Malibu? Yeah. <laughs> you really like a Malibu and pineapple? Well, I do have a soft spot for a Malibu and pineapple. Oh in the right God. mood, yeah. It's nice. Let's see what it's sort I've of got taste in. of sun lotion. You know? <laughs> oh, I've got Malibu. Yeah, 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 lovely. Oh, oh that's very exciting. Oh, and I've got a little pineapple. Let me get... I'm going to have one as well. Because <laughs> I don't see you very often, do I? Uh, not enough. Not <laughs> no, enough. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just pour this, and then I then we can get chatting about your new film, The Rewrite, which I saw. I love it. Well, thank you. Good. Well, Do you know what? It's like it's a rom com, yeah, but it's like for adults. Do you know what I mean? It's like. Well, it's not a romantic comedy, really. They've billed it as a romantic comedy to yeah. try and sell tickets, but actually, it just. <laughs> oh. It has. <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand. I'm sympathetic. It has uh, elements of romantic comedy, Cheers, but love. there's all kinds of other deeper things going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mud in your eye. Because mm. <laughs> what it is, it's about this. So delicious. <laughs> Look at that smile. I know. That's amazing. I could do the advert for Malibu and <laughs> yeah. I feel like I. <laughs> Made dreams come true tonight. <laughs> I'd forgotten how nice that is. Thank you. I'm much happier now. You're quite picky about what films you pick, aren't you? Why did you go for this one, the rewrite? I thought I could be good. I thought it would add, even add a dimension to my work because I, I have to do bits of sort of depth and emotion in this that I'm unaccustomed to in my films. No. No. Well, yeah, because it's interesting. It shows the difference. It shows a side, doesn't it, to the whole business? Like you had your big hit there as a writer, and then mm. you have to end up becoming a teacher, don't you? Yeah. Yes, yes. Poor man. He's a he's a well, he was a very successful screenwriter. Uh, won an Oscar 15 years ago, and now can't get a job at all. And he's desperate, has no money, and his agent says, "Well, there, you could do this job teaching screenwriting at this yeah. frankly crap university in the oh, middle of yeah. nowhere, America." And uh, he goes and does that with a very, very bad attitude and just gets drunk and is rude to all the mm. professors and shags the students. And, um, <laughs> and then... Uh, he, so he's not a primary school, he's like a college. Just <laughs> 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 no, just, you know... Just... No, but even so... I can, I, <laughs> I, 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 disgusting, I'm not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does turn some people's stomachs if I <laughs> even have sex with a 20-year-old. Um, but anyway, then he gets nicer. He starts to realise he quite enjoys teaching these people. And so it's a sort of... Uh, it's, a, it's a redemption story. It's heartwarming. Thank you. No, it is. Uh, it is. Yeah, well, it is. Uh, yep, I think that's the idea. Yeah. Well, let's the time out plays your love interest. Did you have instant chemistry? Well, yeah, I mean, we're very different beasts. She's very method and I'm very slapdash, really. Um, <laughs> But we were, no, we liked each other. We liked each other. And you never know with chemistry anyway. No. Uh, you know, sometimes you think, oh, we get on so well, this must look great on camera. Yeah. And actually it just goes flat. And other times you frankly loathe each other and it sort of sparkles. Oh, now funny, because you think, didn't you? Yeah, well, sometimes hate comes over as love. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my God, how funny. Yes, it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't think it would be like that, would you? Because you're sitting I've, there eating your popcorn, films. watching it, and you think, I want to fucking <laughs> thrash your face in. <laughs> very much so. Yeah. Very much oh. so. Yeah. Who's been your best? Who's, who have you had the most spark with? Who have you gone in the room and gone, bow, wow, wow, wow? Well, it depends what you, in what sense you mean. I mean, there were ones I really got on with, like, uh, Sandra Bullock, I love, I love to this oh, day. Yeah, we like her, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So, so Jessica Parker, all that. But, you know, I can't think of a leading lady I haven't fancied. I think I, you've got to fancy them. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's no fun. What's the point of doing the film? <laughs> <laughs> so you sort of use films as speed dating? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Tinder for me. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you got off with uh, Julia Roberts in Notting Hill. I got off with her, yes. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you should have heard that as a strap line. For the film. Yeah. Now, listen, I was worried, because I'm not being funny, but she has got quite a large mouth. Was you worried about falling in? <laughs> it well, could I, happen, I... it could happen. <laughs> it's like pot holing, isn't it? It's a big mouth. I, I mean, I... <laughs> I love her. But yeah. I was oh. aware of a faint echo when I was kissing her. Oh, no. <laughs> 
she's great. <laughs> and you, uh, you had a gay kiss in Maurice, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. Would you? Did you ever think when you were kissing a man, oh, I could get used to this? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, <laughs> he didn't say no. He didn't say no. We're, I didn't really have to kiss James Warby properly because yeah. we were Edwardian and I was yeah. having platonic love course, with him. Yes. Yeah. No, the real shagging went on between him and the gamekeeper later, <laughs> uh, if you remember. <laughs> yeah. We just did gumming. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds worse than getting off. <laughs> yeah, we gummed. I yeah. think we gummed. I can't remember. No, it was no. 1985. Mm. Well, because ever since I saw that film, I thought, if anyone would play me in a film, it'd have to be you. <laughs> would you ever do it? Say the script was amazing. And it was like the Alan Carr story. Yeah. You see, I have my dignity to think of. Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. Yeah, of course, of but there course is a lot of full frontal nudity in the script, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of roles, love, mm. I've got a great role for you. You know George Clooney's? doing that movie about phone hacking, yeah, which I um, can't wait to see. I was thinking that is a shoe in for you, because obviously you're involved in Hacked Off and everything. Would you... You could be in that, playing you. Would you want to play him? You? <laughs> I know, my head's exploding I, 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 just thinking about it. <laughs> I, it could be said that I've played myself once or twice before. Um, <laughs> but, so... Uh, yes, I suppose, I suppose I would, but I don't know, I feel a little bit uh, sort of proprietorial about of course, that, yeah. that whole hacking thing. I don't know. I feel like that's uh, the two separate parts of my life. I don't like to mix them up, you know. Oh, OK, OK. One, one sort of yeah. s serious um, militant Mary me and the other showbiz slag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As well as the phone hacking, you were getting hassled by the paps uh. as well. How bad did it get? And where's the weirdest place you were papped? Well... Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, Tell me. I, uh, uh, you should be able to deal with it better than I dealt with it, but I never liked them round my house. It felt like that was my bubble, and uh, especially if there were girlfriends with their children around. I did once lose my temper. Twice lost my temper very badly. And twice got arrested. <laughs> 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 and not even, you know, in a very cool way, because, uh, of course, one time I, I attacked one and his, his friend was lurking around a corner and got pictures and it wasn't like I was, you know, doing really good sort of manly punching. Yeah. It was a kind of... It was like the fight with Colin Firth <laughs> and Bridget <laughs> Jones. Sort of pathetic <laughs> kicking. Yeah. And then... And then I, his friend came up to sort of try and protect him and I was feeling very manly and I said, ''You want some?'' Oh. And to my horror, he said, ''Yeah, I do.'' <laughs> He put his camera down and he was gigantic. So oh. I immediately chickened out and said, yeah. well, let's all calm down here, you know. <laughs> and then uh, I went back into my house where, as chance had it, some drunk person the night before had left a sort of uh, Tupperware <laughs> a packet of a, a baked potato and lots of baked beans on my doorstep. <laughs> so I just picked it up to throw it away. And then I thought, no, I, I, I use that as a weapon. And <laughs> threw it at these pats. <laughs> You can't see it. There's, a, I mean, there's um, another picture later where the, you actually the whole thing is covered in baked beans, the lens and everything. Anyway, yeah. I was quite rightly arrested and charged with assault with a dangerous weapon or something. Like that. <laughs> well, do you know what, Hugh? It's been so lovely having you on, and uh, it's just been brilliant. Good luck with the film, the rewrite. Thank you very when, much. When's it out? Uh, today. Today. Oh, it today. Opens today. You've got to go and see it. Bang Bang star Ariana Grande will be chatting and performing. See you in part four.